Ashwagandha has been a cornerstone of Ayurvedic medicine used to promote overall well-being and resilience. Ashwagandha is known to offer a wide range of health benefits from stress reduction and improved sleep to enhanced immunity and cognitive function. In this video, we will be discussing what exactly is Ashwagandha, what potential benefits can it offer in our modern lives, what are the side effects and who should avoid it. Let's explore. Ashwagandha is scientifically known as Vidania somnifera. It is a small shrub native to India, the Middle East and parts of Africa, also known as Indian ginseng or winter cherry. Ashwagandha has been used for centuries in Ayurvedic medicine to promote overall health and vitality. Its name Ashwagandha is actually derived from Sanskrit words Ashwa meaning horse and Gandha meaning smell, hinting at its traditional use to impart the strength and vigor of a horse. Its name also relates to the way its roots smell like a horse. Modern science is now catching up to the wisdom of Ayurveda with research investigating Ashwagandha's potential benefits for various health concerns. Ashwagandha is classified as an adaptogen, meaning it may help the body adapt to stress. Studies so suggest it can lower stress hormones like cortisol, helping to alleviate stress and anxiety and promoting a sense of calm and well being. Studies so suggest that ashwagandha may enhance sleep quality and promote relaxation, making it a valuable herb for managing sleep disturbances, promoting deeper sleep, and reducing nighttime anxiety. Ashwagandha has immunomodulatory effects, supporting the body's natural defense mechanisms and strengthening the immune system. Some research indicates that ashwagandha may improve cognitive function, memory and focus, making it a promising herb for brain health. Ashwagandha might combat fatigue and boost energy levels. Studies suggest it can improve physical performance and reduce feeling of tiredness. Ashwagandha has been traditionally used to support hormonal balance, particularly in women, by regulating cortisol and balancing reproductive hormones. While ashwagandha offers several health benefits, it is important to consider its effect on hormone level, particularly in women with polycystic ovary syndrome. A study highlighted in Biomed Research International for 2015 points out that ashwagandha supplementation may lead to an increase in testosterone levels. Given that women with polycystic ovary syndrome often already have elevated testosterone, introducing ashwagandha could potentially intensify the symptoms related to hormonal disturbance. One area of interest is its impact on testosterone levels. Recent studies have highlighted ashwagandha's ability to boost testosterone and improve sexual function. For instance, an 8-week study showed that men taking 5 grams of ashwagandha daily experienced significant increase in testosterone levels and improved sexual health. Another study found that ashwagandha supplementation led to an increase in luteinizing hormone, which plays a crucial role in testosterone production. In another fascinating study, researchers paired an 8-week resistance training program with ashwagandha supplementation and observed the outcomes against a control group who only participated in the training. The findings were remarkable. The group that supplemented with ashwagandha not only saw a significant boost in their testosterone levels, but also experienced enhanced muscle strength and size. Emerging research suggests that ashwagandha may offer benefits for individuals with diabetes. Studies indicate that the herb can improve insulin sensitivity and increase insulin secretion in muscle cells, which could help manage blood glucose levels. Additionally, ashwagandha contains vidafarin A, which has shown anti-diabetic activity by aiding glucose uptake from the bloodstream. Ashwagandha is available in various forms, including capsules, powders, and liquid extracts. It can be consumed orally or applied topically depending on the desired effect. When considering dosage, it is important to note that there is no one-size-fits-all answer. The recommended doses of ashwagandha may vary depending on factors such as age, health status, and individual needs. While ashwagandha is celebrated for its health benefits and generally considered safe for most people when used appropriately, it's essential to be aware of potential side effects and precautions. Some individuals may experience mild side effects such as gastrointestinal upset, drowsiness, or allergic reactions. It is crucial to consult with a healthcare provider before incorporating it into your regimen due to potential medication interactions. 
Individuals with autoimmune conditions such as lupus or rheumatoid arthritis should exercise caution as ashwagandha might activate the immune system and exacerbate symptoms. Pregnant or breastfeeding women are also advised to steer clear of ashwagandha as its safety for these groups has not been established. Moreover, ashwagandha's ability to lower blood sugar levels could be a double-edged sword. While this property may aid those with diabetes, it also raises the risk of hypoglycemia particularly if used alongside other diabetes medications. In summary, ashwagandha is a remarkable herb with a wide range of health benefits from stress reduction and improved sleep to enhanced immunity and cognitive function. Incorporating ashwagandha into your wellness routine may help support overall health and well-being. However, it is essential to use ashwagandha responsibly and consult with a healthcare professional to ensure its safe and effective use. By the way, I have included a link to all the articles and scientific studies in the description. Feel free to check it out if you want to delve deeper into ashwagandha. Thanks for joining us today as we explore the fascinating world of ashwagandha. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to High Spirit Pharmacist for more health related content. And as always, feel free to share your thoughts or questions in the comment section below. Until next time, take care and stay healthy.